Hey. Hi. Sweetheart, come on in. Is Brooklyn home? I need to talk to her about Austin. Does anybody want to fill me in on what Brooklyn did? What, nobody else did? I gave us our best shot at keeping Austin out of ELQ and this family. So you, you tricked Austin into breaking his patient doctor confidentiality. You turned him in, and now you're threatening his medical license unless he drops the claim on EOQ. Yes, and I don't know why I'm getting so much static over it. I definitely would have used a different tactic. Yeah, a way less effective tactic, Dad. <sighs> okay, Brooklyn, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But you're about to tell me what to do. No, I'm going to give you my opinion, which is that Austin is genuinely a good guy. <sighs> and he legitimately cares about Leo. Wrong. Austin is not a good guy, and his opinions about Leo are way off base. Now, would I like to have him out of the family? Yes, I would. But I really would prefer if he was caught running his mouth about literally anyone other than my son, because now this whole thing with Leo is gonna be a great big deal, and Leo is fine just the way he is. Would it really be that bad if Austin got his share of the inheritance? I mean, from what I can see, it looks like there's more than enough money to go around. That's not the point, Maxie. The point, which I have said over and over again, is that my great-grandfather, Edward Quartermain, purposely left Jimmy Lee Holt out of his will. Okay, it doesn't matter that he was thinking about reconsidering. None of those thoughts ever made it into an official document. None of those thoughts were ever signed or filed or probated. So Austin is going after money that isn't his. And to make things worse, he's hiding behind some sob story about honoring the wishes of his late father when all he cares about is getting those shares. You're awfully quiet over there. What do you think? That you used a smart strategy. Thank you. Finally, someone who sees some reason. Look, Austin, he came at us and you found where he was vulnerable. It's better than us just railing at the guy. I mean, look, Austin has a big ego. He gave his opinion on something that he has no authority to give his opinion on. That's his weakness and you, you targeted it. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Gold star for me. Oh my God. I'm gonna check on Leo. I'll get it. For the record, I will be thrilled when Austin is out of our lives. But? But if he ends up getting fired? You're worried about Leo. Yes. I'm worried the message that he might be on the autism spectrum gets drowned out. And then what? And then what what? You're talking about Leo, aren't you? You see that? This is what I hate. All this little, little hush-hush, secret conversations about the non-problem that is my son. Why, why can't you hear me on this, Ned? I hear you. I just don't agree with you. I think it's time we talk divorce. What? What? Dad. <sighs> 